Hi, today I want to show you how to share media files on my Samsung Galaxy phone and I'm using the iMedia Share uh, which is very easy to use. The version is 109 and basically I didn't do any setup. The only condition is uh, uh, the, all the machine has to be connected to the same network. It's basically the server is now running. You can see it here. Now I need to use a client to connect to my phone and play the media file. For testing the app, I'm using my Pioneer Amplifier VSXS500 and uh, I need to turn it to network mode. Now you can see it's trying to connect to my network. The, all the network already set. I'm not going to through the details and this it's also connected to the TV. After the amplifier is connected to the network then we can see a very ugly screen on the TV and uh, I have to go to the music library over there. And you can see it uh, the, my amplifier supports the DLNA server and it also found the, the IU media share over there and I have to select it. Now you can see photos, music, videos but because it's an amplifier it doesn't play uh, photos or videos so I have to go to music and phone music here. Let's go to album for demonstration. Uh, basically I will see the, the folders here. So and I can go to go up and down. If I go up I will go to the last page or go to the right and left to the next page. That's for demonstration. I'm going to one song here. You can see it's does the Unicode display as well, but some of the character that doesn't come out correctly. And now I selected the song, you can see. So this showing songs, titles and the file name basically. And I can pause it and play it again and stop. And all these files are on my mobile phone. Now it's sharing from my mobile phone. If I want to play the videos, uh, I can use my amplifier. Since my uh, TV supports the DLNA server as well, and I can use my TV to play it. What I need to do is select the source. It, as you can see, there's already showing the iMedia share over there, and I just need to select it. And I, I have the option to select uh, for videos, photos, music, and just show you with videos. I don't know why they so uh, complicate to navigate through my videos. I have to go through so many levels, all videos, and now I'm here. So you can see th these are all the videos on my phone. This is one of the video I took uh, on my phone the other day. And you can see, I did. so if I want to pause it, I can pause it and I can also start, play it again and yeah, so stop it. To test the photos, I'm going back to the source list and select I media share again. Now I, I'm going to select photos here and uh, go to photos and phone photos or photos so you can see these are the, all the photos on my phone i just select random one and i can press the forward to go to the next one uh, i can do a slideshow as well press on the play button And you can see there is also transition. 
that has nothing to do with the app. That's just my, just my TV is doing the slideshow. Uh, the I'm quite happy with the app, and it's very easy to do this without any setup. Just connect to the same network, and if your devices, your TV or your amplifier support uh, a DLNA server, then it should work. If you have any questions, just post in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye. So you see the song is identified and is showing the lyrics here. And according to the music.